Hi, my name is Greg Canarsa. I'm a six-year neurosurgery resident at the University of Maryland Medical Center, and I also did a year fellowship with the endovascular surgical neurointerventional uh, group here. Um, it was an infolded fellowship. Uh, I worked closely with the attendings here, Dr. Diraj Gandhi, Dr. Garov Jindal, and Dr. Timothy Miller. In that year, uh, I had the chance and the privilege to do over or close to 500 cases um, of all sorts, including diagnostic angiograms, but also intervention cases such as mechanical thrombectomies where we essentially unclog the arteries in an acute stroke. Um, it's tremendously rewarding uh, when a patient comes in acutely weak due to a stroke and you're part of the team that can unclog that artery and the patient, it almost it seems miraculous, uh, can move there that whole side again and, and talk again. As well, we coiled ruptured aneurysms, um, uh, we stopped acute bleeds, did all sorts of um, wide variety of cases, a huge diversity. Um, but most importantly, it's a great team here, the attendings, the nurses, the techs, um, uh, everyone who works here is part of a team and I really loved it the whole year and we got to help a, a lot of patients and um, there's really nothing I would change about it. Working with the attendings um, was given um, graduated autonomy as I um, worked with them. Um, we worked together and uh, learned more and more. Um, uh, so ultimately I think this is a great program. I think pretty much anything that's done in this field is done here. And most importantly, the people are what matter and um, uh, I wouldn't trade anything for the year I did with them. I'm Gaurav Jindal. I'm one of the interventional neuroradiologists here at the University of Maryland. I had the privilege of starting here about, what, nine years ago now. Um, I was coming straight out of my fellowship program at the time. And uh, when I began here, we, uh, we had a fellowship program. It was in its infancy. And I soon, soon after starting became the program director. And um, a, a few years later, we pursued ACGME accreditation of the fellowship. And I'm proud to say that we're now one of only seven programs in the country that are ACGME accredited. And we garnered accreditation in 2016 um, and we're in good standing with the ACGME since that time. Um, I've had the privilege of training probably about a dozen fellows at, at this point, including uh, several uh, neurosurgery residents who did an infolded fellowship year with us, as well as graduating um, probably about five to six fellows um, since getting accredited. And we have a, a, a high volume, uh, well-structured fellowship program uh, and it's really come together nicely over the last uh, few years to several years. Um, we have a, a rigorous didactic curriculum now, uh, which we have um, been um, working on for, for the past few years and, and really have hon honed in on that at this point, uh, which includes a, a monthly uh, M&M conference, a journal club, case conferences, as well as didactic lectures. Uh, we also have multidisciplinary meetings with our stroke neurology colleagues, um, very recently, we're doing that with our, our neurocritical care colleagues, uh, as well as our neurosurgery colleagues. Um, I think some of the strengths of our fellowship program, beyond being one of few accredited programs in the country, uh, are the, the high volume and great diversity of interventional cases that we do. Um, we probably hit about a thousand cases per year. Um, our fellows routinely will um, get, get experience in three, four, five hundred plus cases in a year. Um, and in addition, we have a great working collaboration with the other neuro services around the hospital. In addition to great collaboration with our orthopedic colleagues, our ophthalmology colleagues, our um, ENT colleagues, our, our, our trauma surgery service, uh, I think uh, you, you name it, and uh, we, we do it here when it comes to neurointerventional. Um, 
like many programs, uh, five to ten years ago we were doing only a handful of interventional stroke cases per year. Uh, now we are a, a regional leader in the number of strokes that we, we do, uh, and, and we may reach 200 stroke cases annually per year. We're doing almost that many brain aneurysms each year. Uh, we see a great number of trauma cases, which, which come from our excellent uh, trauma surgery hospital, which is, um, which, which is a part of the, the university. Our, our fellows, um, when, when they graduate, they go on to great places, both in academics uh, as well as in private practice. Um, and they, uh, I keep in touch with many of them still, and uniformly they, they tell me what a great program that we have, uh, what you know, great experience, uh, hands-on experience they, that they've gotten, uh, and, I, and I'm proud to, say, proud to see them uh, move on with their careers and, and, and happy to continue to keep in touch with them. So it's, it's been a real, uh, real pleasure to be the program director of such a, uh, such a large and, and, and great fellowship program over, over the last few years, and uh, I think we're just going to continue to expand and grow. Uh, we've recently hired uh, a neurosurgery attending uh, who is trained in open vascular surgery as well as endovascular surgery and uh, I think that'll only add to, uh, to the program and, and to the you know, educational and, and clinical experience that our fellows are, are so happy to, to get while they're here. <laughs>